I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome back to part two with the incredible Kevin Shinnick. Here we go. I, I need to know more about where in time is Carmen Sandiego. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, the whole, like, the jumpsuit, the yeah, action figure. So fantastic. People are on YouTube right now. Oh. And, by, and let me just say that whatever you're doing is where, I mean, you literally have not changed a bit. I <laughs> mean, exactly the same it's thing. fantastic. So it's whatever Kool-Aid they had on set worked for you. But, um, and also you did, you had some guest work on Grimm. So yeah. you have your yeah. on-camera yeah. side of the world. So what are the kind of, things that keep you balanced because we know the on-camera world mm -hmm. I do on camera too it's kind of curious mm -hmm. um, and the voiceover side has its own thing so what is it that how do you keep that balance of you working know, in both just, arenas it's it's fortunate to have those options because mm -hmm. as I may have said it, it takes the pressure off if I'm having a week where the acting's not going as, as I had hoped I think all right well let it go let it go you've got a script due you know or if I'm got writer's block I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, you know, and then oh, I'll have an audition tomorrow, you know. The good thing is, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't call my agent every day. What about sometimes I'll forget, not forget, but I'll be so enwrapped in something that when uh, when they call, you have an audition tomorrow. Oh, great, you know, I wasn't even thinking yeah. about mm -hmm. it, you yeah. know. And it just and again, like I said earlier, just part of my day on my daily planner. Go and audition for this, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And then you do your audition and you just forget about yeah. it. Yeah, you do. Busy doing other things. Yeah. It's pointless and like you know. My agent always calls me afterwards, but we got to this agreement where it's like, look, I'm always going to do my best work. Why don't I call you and tell you if things went horribly for some right, reason? Because right. other than that, and in this business, we all know you could. I, I tell my dad because sometimes, you know, he's like, you should try out for. I said, I could feasibly <laughs> not get an audition for the Kevin Shinnick show. <laughs> you know what I mean? There, there is it's a good true. chance yeah. that I may not even get in that room. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And yeah. it's such a tough business that mm -hmm. a lot of it is out of your hands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is in your hands, like I said before, is being connected to what you are right then and there and doing a good job. Um, I had an acting teacher who put it best where people are always looking like, oh, why can't I get an acting job? Those auditions are your acting jobs. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, you may not go any further than that audition, but that was a job, mm -hmm. you know, and you've mm -hmm. got to treat it like that. Yeah. And, and when you start doing that, you realize, oh yeah, I do get to act. I get to act all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I may not be getting paid that day or I may not be getting the notoriety I was hoping for, but you have to get a certain amount. What's the saying they said? You have to do 10,000 hours of one thing before yeah. you can get it yeah. right. Yeah. You know? I'm deep into my career, and I think, like I said, these past three years are the first time that I showed up on set and was like, oh, no, I, I feel comfortable. I feel I belong here. Mm -hmm. You know, I did a Masters of Sex uh, a couple of uh, months ago, I guess now, and I, f I finally felt in that moment, like, you know, you don't, you get on there and you're like, oh, I hope I forget my lines. I hope it is. I hope it is. <laughs> that wasn't that because of, yeah. it's, you've done it enough now where you're like, okay. This is what I do. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully yeah. I'll get to continue to do that. <laughs> I hope you do yeah. too, man. I love well, and it just creates a great energy on Absolutely. set and in the yeah. room, and it yeah. just makes it everyone is just at ease. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's true. Great. It really is true. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so if you're, do you have any brothers? I have one. Yes, I have a, a brother who's six years younger than I am. Okay. But so he is. He used to be an ultimate fighter. He oh. was not. Yes. So we are very close, but we are very different. Wow. <laughs> Ultimate fighter. Yes. Wow. Did he ever try and wrestle you? And try oh, constantly. And... <laughs> constantly. That's how we practiced. I, yeah, exactly. That's that how was his oh. audition. I'm the older brother, and he was chasing me. You know, and the, all, all I could do is Something just run around the dining the room table there. and wait for his asthma to kick yeah. in. That was my, that was <laughs> my <laughs> biggest defense. Asthma to kick in. That's hysterical. That's a show right it's there. true. <laughs> uh, oh, my uh. goodness. Okay, so I was asking about your brother because I I, I, I want to make a I want to ask you to do something. Here, uh oh. Okay, so and pretend it's your brother or a family member <laughs> oh, or a cousin no. or somebody. <laughs> Is this an or, intervention? No, or somebody that you really and just care about. And we have your brother about. here. Somebody that, you, <laughs> <laughs> somebody that you that you really just care about a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And they say to you. Um, and should, I do, should I do VO Buzz Weekly? And, and they happen to be <laughs> and they happen to be out there. Okay. Okay. They're right. out there right now. Gotcha. They're asking you this. Kevin, mm -hmm. okay, with all your yes. with all your ba with your background and, yes. and, 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 oh, and and all your expertise and stuff, is, good. is there any advice that you can give our fellow actors, voice actors out there 
of some things that they should be doing, maybe on a regular basis, to really keep them moving in the right direction so that they can get to the point where they're able to, when that opportunity knocks, that they're ready. I hear you. All right. I'm glad, I'm glad you asked me that. Um, <laughs> no, you know, we live in, this sounds so grandiose when I start with we, we live in, but we live in a time that is the perfect time for doing what we want to do. Meaning, yeah. mm -hmm. two things. One, what, sometimes I speak to school groups and I'll say, this time we're living in, no matter what you enjoy doing, yeah. there's a chance, there's a career in that. Yeah. You know, um, Steve Stansweet from Lucasfilm yeah. collected Star Wars figures and Star Wars stories. His collection got so big that Lucasfilm went to him and said, would you like to run our archives division? Mm. I mean, the craziest things out there can be turned into a career. Yeah. And we have at our disposal the internet and YouTube and all these channels. And so if you have a passion for this stuff, then put it out there. Write it. Direct it. Um, do it with your friends because this is a lonely business. But, you know, one thing, like we said about knowing people, the people you come up with are the people you begin to trust. Yeah. And, you know, I have, when I write something, I have a small group of friends who I truly trust who are in the business. Yeah. Because you can't just give your script or whatever to anybody. Right. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of baggage people there, are jealousies there, are ignorances there, whatever, and they may give you the wrong notes at the wrong time. You may be like, oh, I'm never going to do this again, you know? Yeah. But you have to be a little tough skinned, but you also have to be smart about how you go about it. So, and I'm not coming down on video games at all. I personally don't play video games so much, but I know use your time wisely. Yeah. Sometimes people are like, I can't get a job. Oh my God, I spent all weekend on blah, blah, blah. And I was <laughs> yeah. kind of yeah. like, well. Yeah. But if you but have that time. there's some people that actually get paid Well, that's what I'm saying. Too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you love video games, we'll get they get for paid for yeah. it, you know? Utilize your time. Your time is precious. You know, uh, again, that same professor, Dr. Yeah. Mason, hated the th expression, I'm going to kill some time. He's like, time oh, is so yeah, precious, you yes. can kill it. You utilize it. Yeah. And if you've got a passion for anything, do it. You know, when I think back, you know, we were making rockets out of, uh, you know, paper towel rolls and, and just filming them and doing all sorts of crazy things. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yet those are the things that lead to your career. Mm -hmm. You know, because like J.J. Abrams did that. He did a whole Super 8 based on, you know, his, his childhood as a, mm -hmm. it's there. It's there for you. Don't think of it as now and don't think of it as then or, you know, that's going to happen to me. It's happening now. Mm -hmm. the, you're planting the seeds. Do it now, you know. Beautiful. I love that. Stay active. Stay active, yeah. Do something every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't kill time. Write something. Yeah, don't kill time. Mm -hmm. Don't kill time. Use time. Use time. Write something every day. Well, and expect someone else to create your opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A lot of times you have to be the one to... Because no one is going to love your vision or your career more than you are. Absolutely. No one's going to be more passionate than Absolutely. you are. Absolutely. I, I have a joke saying, which is, there are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are dying to get an agent and those who are dying to get a new agent. You know? <laughs> <laughs> now, I am not in that position. I love my agents. But who there are, are people. I'm with CESD for, oh, uh, for yes. voiceover. Yeah. I'm with CAA yeah. for writing. I'm with you know, all sorts of different yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're, you're well hooked up. <laughs> I'm not well hooked up. I think a lot of people to <laughs> do whatever. Diversified. Exactly. I yes. have an agent for my socks. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I have uh, an agent for my socks. <laughs> your stylist has really done a nice job. Thank you. Thank I like you. it. Brother the jacket's still trying like to a kick your ass? Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> you know? It just, uh, He does this thing where. Yeah, but you went out to dinner with Angelina Jolie. That's true. So. That's true. probably why he doesn't like <laughs> yeah. that much. It got worse after that. Could have been me. Yeah. Six years earlier. I know, I know. Probably would have been a better fit. Yeah, think right. about it. <laughs> what are some of your current projects that you can talk about? Well, um, two things have wrapped up and are coming out soon. One is, like I mentioned before, the Robot Chicken DC Comics mm -hmm. 3, our third one of these. Wow, so very fun. Cool. Uh, so much fun to do. Um, if you've seen the first two, even if you haven't seen the first mm, two, you like so comics. Fun. Um, and this one, we got um, Adam West and Burt Ward to voice themselves as Batman and Robin. Oh, so that's just a small so part of this. Awesome. Um, Were you supposed to say that? Because that sounds like a secret. Well, it's out now. Holy and you heard yeah. it here. You, know. you heard it here. This just in, fans. <laughs> exactly. That's big right so there. So did you direct I take them? That I didn't direct them. No, no. Okay. But, uh, but they, 
the cast is fantastic. We have, you know, well, you've got Weird Al, who I had the pleasure of working with on Mad. He's doing the the Joker. Um, you know, we've got so yeah. many celebrities who come so, back uh, and do it because we again, again, you want to create an atmosphere that you're going to enjoy. Yeah. And and we yeah. have such a good time. I think they have a good time doing it, so they come back. And I, it's so funny because my entire childhood. I watched Super Friends and I'd be like, meanwhile, at the Legion of Doom. <laughs> and I was constantly doing that. You know, I'd yeah. be in the men's room, I'd just yell out, meanwhile, in stall number two. <laughs> and then after the first DC oh Comics special, uh, Seth said to me, well, who do you want to voice? And I said, mm, I mean, I'll be Captain Cold. And he said, okay. And he wrote back, he's like, Ye- you have to do the announcer. I was yes. like, oh my God, I forgot. Yeah, I said exactly. that's my entire life waiting yeah. for this moment. <laughs> and here it is. And here Beautiful. it is. So I am the, and as uh, you probably knew, Ted uh, uh, Ted Knight yes. did that voice, yes. you know, early, early on. And yeah. I, it was just so so, so great to do that. Good. So that's coming out. I forget when that's coming out. Um, probably the end of the fall, I think. Mm-hmm. And there'll be a robot chicken panel at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con. Another thing that's coming out that they're going to premiere at Comic-Con is I had the pleasure of writing, and it's not often I could say this, Scooby, the, the movie Scooby-Doo and Kiss, a rock and roll mystery. So I was finishing <laughs> oh up gosh. Mad. Was this the story you were going to tell us yes. earlier? Yeah, okay, yes. good, good, good. I was finishing up Mad at, at, at Warner Brothers, and I said, I have some other things I'm going to go off and do. And they yeah. said, oh, no, we'd like you to stay and work on something. I said, uh, I, you know, these are more important to me. They said, do this, uh, do this, uh, I don't feel. They said, write the new Scooby-Doo movie. I said, well, and they said, but it's Scooby-Doo meets Kiss, and they're involved. Uh, and I was kind of like, uh, oh. I'm, I said to my wife, I said, is this, am I being ridiculous? <laughs> this yeah. is, I'm being pulled back I'm being in. Dry. By, yeah. And she goes. By spandex. To, exactly, in boots. And blood. And I said, well, am I wrong to this? And she looked, and she's like, no, you have to do this. You have to do it. And I, I, I wrote this thing, and, and I just had such a good time working with these guys, and, um, you know, writing Scooby Doo <laughs> meets Kiss. <laughs> it's like you know, oh my we all remember the Kiss and the Phantom of the Amusement Park, and yeah. so this yes. is our take on trying so, to maybe correct so some wrongs. Yeah, and they done. voice their own voices. Voice their own yeah. voices. How, How cool is that? Is that? So great, and they're they, so talented. They yeah. are talented. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Really, but that. I mean, that's not a given. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think the other thing that you may have experienced is. I think everybody thinks they can do voiceovers. Yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And even there's big names who think they can do voiceovers. And they come in and you realize, oh, no, not everybody can do this. So it was a crapshoot. But they came in and they were phenomenal. Phenomenal. Wow. Who surprised you? The, who surprised you the most? Being either the most directable, the most just good instincts. You or... know, I had heard so many different things about Gene Simmons mm-hmm. that when I came and I was ready for anything, and he could not have been nicer. Did he and say more he generous. invented voiceover? <laughs> no, but he always he's <laughs> did like he try to sell you something. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. What did he try to sell? Well, you? he always says like we, we get to, we're getting buddy buddy, and he's like, "You guys should come on the Kiss Cruise." We're like, "Yeah!" And he's like, "It's five grand a piece." Oh, so like, okay. Oh, I thought maybe. I you think were... your lines just got a little shorter. Yeah, exactly. Jay. I think he has a credit card swiper like <laughs> attached to him. I worked that into the script as well, and oh I thought I hope gosh. that goes over well. The oh, habits that's they're always good. plugging, so you know, funny. something. That but is so good. They loved it. Paul brought his kids, and the kids yeah. loved it, so it was great. I have mad. Respect. We saw them a couple years ago at Staples Center, and I have such mad respect for. I mean, these guys, like you said, they know their lane. That yeah. they yeah. they are so authentic. There is only the will ever only be one kiss yeah. ever, and I love that they're still doing it. I just I think it's amazing. I mean, there's there shouldn't be an age limit on your passion. I know. You know. I know. Absolutely. I mean, put yeah. on those thunder boots, man. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, they look good. Rock I mean, they're good yeah. shape. So they're in power great to them. So fun. Um, so how do you ride the line of writing a show that is appropriate for kids and for adults? Good question. Um, I think because I have such an immature personality, maybe, mm-hmm. that I think that helps. Mm-hmm. But um, what I learned also legally, too, is they'll tell you so many things you can't do. Okay. I try and, first of all, I try and not hold myself back. I just try and write what's funny. Mm-hmm. If you find it funny, let's do it. And then when it's out there, you can realize, well, that's not going to go. Mm-hmm. That's not going to yeah. go. So you can yeah. try and taper it down. Yeah. But I, I never try and hold back, you know? I mean, like I said, know your audience and know right. what you can get away with. But sometimes, just getting it out starts the yeah. train running. Exactly. Do you find that kids pay attention more to the visual than the dialogue or vice versa? Adults, vice of, well, not know? vice versa, but both. That, that, that was the key to MAD for me. Mm-hmm. If the dialogue was for kids, 
something visual was making the adults laugh, okay. and that was the vice versa. And if okay. it was, you know, if I had a, a line that may have gone over the kids' heads, I was having something happen on s screen that the kids right. liked. Right, right, you know? So everybody was happy. It's, it was, it's tricky, and especially yeah. that 8 o'clock, 8.30 hour, mm -hmm. because, you know, the, you know, it's just getting almost to adult almost. swim for, mm -hmm. you know, on Cartoon Network and stuff, but... Again, I wrote for what made me laugh, yeah. and n never, never pandered, and never talked down to those kids because mm -hmm. they are so smart. When you were a kid, were you funny? Did you like to do parodies? What kind of kid were you in school? Like, were you um, sitting in the front row with? Yeah, I, I mean, what were you doing? Well, <laughs> take us back. I was saying, it takes up not. I was class president. Of so course I was, you were. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's that's how obnoxious that came out. <laughs> Um, but that vote being for said, Shinnick. yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, vote for Shinnick. It brings back so many memories. So many memories. Do you still remember your campaigns for? President? I think I always ran on the idea we were going to have a car wash. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or we get soda machines in the cafeteria or something like that. Nice. Something you could never happen back then. He was now. for the people. Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, what was nice. the question again? <laughs> That was a question. What? That was a question. What was the no, question? What kind of kid were you? Were you were you the oh, class clown? Yeah, funny? Well, were was, you kind of doing your own thing? Like were you? You know, I was in drama, studious, and I was always trying to make people laugh. Mm -hmm. um, I was also growing up in the advent of the answering machine, and that oh. was the beginning of my VO career. Yeah. You know how many. Times did you go? You look marvelous into the yeah. into, into the answering machine in the late '80s, you know. Or I did, you know, Peter Sellers of the Pink Pant. My mom, right. if she still had them, had tapes and tapes. Oh my gosh. Those were your first demo reels. They were. They should That's, be in the Smithsonian. They, they should be. Yeah. Or someone, someone. Okay, Sonian. well, we but I remember get something I was going to say earlier uh, in terms of like do something and get your work out there. A lot of times, people are like, oh, well, I haven't done anything. But someone gave me advice a long time ago, which I thought was smart. They said, go through the magazine, rip out ads, and record them, because mm -hmm. that's copy. That, if you usually, if you closed your eyes and read it, chances are that's the same car commercial copy you're going to hear mm -hmm. when the thing is. So people have already written scripts for you, or they're called advertisements, and they're in magazines, you know, right. or online, Great stuff or whatever. To practice with, yeah. So yeah, do that. You know, again, we have technology now where... If I sometimes I have an audition, I can't make it to my home studio, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I do it on my iPhone. Right. You know, there are enough apps and things, so there's no excuse why, if you're interested in voiceover, that you don't have a reel and it's not online for someone to see mm -hmm. or listen yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. I, I a guy just called me up not too long ago, sent me an email. Uh, he might even be watching. <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said, y he wants to do voices, he wants to do a demo and, and all that stuff. And I said, well, can you send me something that, you know, with your voice on it? Right. Send me an MP3 with you reading a commercial yeah. or whatever so I can hear where your skill set is at. And he writes back and says, I would love to do that, but I don't have anything to record my voice with. Not today. Yeah, and I said, dude, that is a problem. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like, because yeah. if you can't send a file, yeah. Yeah. you can't do anything. I mean, yeah. You're, like you said, your iPhone. He mu but he he thing must. Is, he must. He just he's doesn't know. He's not thinking though. He's not thinking yeah. out of He's the killing box. time. <laughs> Don't kill that time. <laughs> he's killing time. No. Don't kill he's the time. Killing his he's, career is what he's yes, doing. He's, he's killing time. So so exactly. Yeah. IPhone. Use your phone. Talk yeah. to you know. There are places that you can go to and put yourself on camera. You know, yeah. if you're on camera audition, they accept now iPhone cameras, but if you don't feel comfortable with that, there are services where you can go over and act and, and they can record it and send it someplace mm -hmm. yep. for you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. So, Kevin, you're on the Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, the Twitter. The Twitter. So people can keep up, keep up with you at Kevin Shinnick and also on your website, but what do you have coming up this summer? Or, or You're going to be at Comic-Con in San Diego? I'm going to be at Comic-Con in San Diego. Um, I think I'll be on that KISS panel mm -hmm. when we premiere the movie. It's going to be in the big hall. Wow, nice. that's going to be stuff. cool. I think so, so yeah. So um, and what else I got going? I'm doing an episode of Rizzolian Isles. So Rizzolian <laughs> yeah. Isles, which if you don't know is like you know Cagney and Lacey for yes. us. Yeah, we yeah, up. yeah. Um, Angie Harmon. Exactly, and they were great. It was mm -hmm. a lot of fun to do that. So, yeah. uh, are you playing a good guy or a bad guy? Uh, neither. I'm oh. a guy who is affected by something that gets the whole story going. Oh. It's not to nice. not to give away nothing. What was uh, <laughs> what was secret. it? What was it like working on Grimm? Grimm was a blast mm -hmm. because it's just 
you know, as a fan of all that type of stuff, I was I was a porcupine man or a guy who transformed <laughs> into a porcupine man. Yeah. And as if that wasn't enough, I get a virus that turns me into a porcupine zombie. Oh, it was it God. could not have been more over the top. I've but never so seen great. you look better, actually. Well, thank yeah. you. Really? Thank you. Yes, I know. Woo. I tried to I mean, yes, my head that's one of my composite shots now. Yes. Porcupine yeah. man. Porcupine man. <laughs> but it was beautiful. We went up to Portland for like a week or so and mm -hmm. shot it and that cast was so great and so yeah. nice and uh yeah, it was just uh, it was just something, and and to play, you know, someone who could morph into a porcupine guy with quills. I love it. That's beautiful. I know. What What do you love most about what you do? Um, what gives you the most amount of satisfaction when you wake up in the morning? Why Why do you Why are you happy in the morning? Well, because I do what I and this sounds gen generic, but I do what I enjoy. Like, mm. like even when I'm stressed, I have to stop myself and say. Look at what you're doing. Look what you're writing. Now forget it's due tomorrow and just write it as the young person who was like, oh, if I ever get a chance to write Scooby Doo Meets Kiss, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. And it's like, even if it's, like I said, even if the deadline's tomorrow, throw it away. Just think, look what I'm getting to write. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it just pours out of me. Also, when I wake up in the morning, the variety. The mm -hmm. variety of knowing I'm not tied down to one thing. one thing. And I didn't, you know, they they always say, if you do one thing well, you know, stick to that. And I've, Thrown that out yeah. the, the door yeah. at the window. Well, because you happen to be one of those multitasker guys that could do a lot of stuff. Which do you good. think? I mean, what? Obnoxious people, <laughs> people, like people like that. No. Jack of all trades, master of everything. And when I hear that, it's like, oh, <laughs> shut up! You're an octopus. <laughs> um, what, so, do you think that is the, has been the key to your success, or what do you think? You can attribute to why you've had such a you're having such a long career. Well, thank you very much. Yes. Um, you know, I will say uh, the attitude also. Um, we've said it before, but you want to work with people you're going to enjoy. Yeah. You know, and whether I'm creating something, I'm trying to do an atmosphere where people are going to want to come to work. Because you know the honest goodness truth is, I want to go to work. And some days, I don't want to go to work. Mm -hmm. right. So if I'm going to go, let's at least have fun doing this mm -hmm. and know, let's not take ourselves too seriously. No matter what we're working on, we're so fortunate to be working in this world. Yeah. You know, yeah. there are so many jobs out there that I think, oh gosh, you know, I, know. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. Um, but I think that's it. You know, be someone that people want to work with mm -hmm. or be someone that, that creates opportunities for people. You know, and I think, knock on wood, that, that will continue. Yeah. So did you get any advice along the way? You mentioned Tony Randall, love that. But any advice along the way that as you got into your career deeper that really kept you in the right headspace? You know, um, I'm sure I have more mentors than I, I mentioned, but, and going back to Tony Randall, he did say something to me, like I was constantly thanking him, constantly saying, thank you for giving me this opportunity, thank you for giving me the, the confidence, and all he ever said was, just do it for someone else, mm. you know? And I think that's kind of plays into what we were just talking about. Pay it forward, mm -hmm. you know? Make this an opportunity for you by making it an opportunity for somebody else. Mm. And I think, um, you know, it helps that we keep saying it's it's who you know, but who you know are the people who you want to hire and who you know are the people who maybe hire you one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's I love that. that. Get down. Kevin, Staying you're good people. You're good people, Kevin. <laughs> he is. I don't care what all those other people say about you, man. <laughs> what? 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 Huh? Huh? The kiss guys? You spoke yeah. my brother? I don't care what they say. <laughs> the bathroom wall is not always right. Okay, oh. so let's pick a number between 5 and 129, if you could tell me. 119. 119. Okay. I still think it's hysterical that Gene Simmons tried to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> so you a trip. <laughs> oh, well, I gotta tell you another oh, even funny God. one was, uh, and this is talking out of school probably, but uh, <laughs> but we wanted to go to the once they announced it, it was announced that um, they were going to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. And so the director uh, Tony Cervoni and I are big Kiss fans, and so uh, I was saying like maybe we can get to go to the Rock and Roll oh, Fame. Yeah. You know, wouldn't it be great yeah. working on it? So I even I even said let's let's make it easy on them. Let's let's fly to New York that weekend. And so be, I was talking to someone who works with them, and I said, um, you know, on the higher ups, I said, listen, Tony and I are going to be in New York that weekend. So if you know of anything that's happening connected to this, uh, we can be part of it. And he said, do you have tickets to uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? I was like, no. And he said, we should get them. They're going fast. <gasps> <laughs> and it was such, such exactly what you'd expect Ew. to hear, bro. And I was kind of. 
And I was just hanging out there, and I was like, wow, oh, shut down. Shut wow, down. Wow, you should wah, get them going wah, fast. Wah. You should get them. They're going yeah. fast. That's so funny, man. If you use the promo code Gene, you can get 10% exactly. off. Exactly. Not even. Oh my god. You charge you more if you use that That's code. That's so funny. Okay, so this is good since we've been admiring your fashion. Uh oh. Mm. If you could live in a past era mm -hmm. just so you could wear the clothes in fashion at the time, mm. when would it be? What would you wear? I think I like the Victorian era. Nice. You know? Yeah. Um, I kind of like that look. The uh, um, the ascots and yeah, or the you know the tie and the oh. and the uh, I can't remember, I, I'm drawing a blank. What do they call it when it's like um, Victorian era steampunk? Yeah, you know, kind of like that. Yeah. I, I have yeah. those interests. So if I was living that time, mm -hmm. maybe I would have invented steampunk. I'm just getting this now as I'm looking at you. <laughs> when you said, <laughs> does anyone say that you resemble Colin Firth? Yes, I have. A heard younger, that. of yeah. course, Colin. Well, thank yes. you very much. Totally. That's, I, only uh, recently I've said, but really? like two other people have said that recently. Mm. I'm so getting Colin Firth. Really? Well, I'm yeah. honored. Thank you. Yeah. He's honored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the guy in my nearby coffee shop, he was one of them. As I was paying for something, really? he said, uh, I liked you in the King's speech. <laughs> oh, I said, thanks. No, you did not. I did. And even a little like, even a little young Dennis Quaid. Really? I never heard that. Yeah, a little. Jerry Lee Lewis, like young Dennis Quaid. Wow. Right? Now you just adding them up. I'm, channel yeah, I'm, just I'm just channeling. I'm just channeling. I'm getting a little Paul Stanley. <laughs> you know? Well, they're, 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 they're called the Midget Kiss. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Midget Kiss. <laughs> That's a little Paul Stanley. Oh, I love dude, it. I gotta tell you, man. Kevin, you are so awesome. Yes. Well, thanks for having me. This is Thank a lot of fun. Thank you, dude, for coming Hopefully down someone here. got something out I of this. I guarantee oh, my gosh. you that no there's question. a bunch of people out there with notes like this long, man. No question. Say, why did you have him on? No. No, you don't see the cover. If you read the comments and answer back to people, you'll see the people right, who actually okay. like you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the key to it? Just answer the comments. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. We wish we'll you continued to you abundance and you're always welcome Absolutely, here. Absolutely. Thank you. And we'll see Thank you guys you. next time. Hey, I'm Kevin Shinnick and I just got buzzed with Chuck and Stacy. Hope you guys were watching and had a good time. If you didn't, don't call me. Call these guys. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week, but next week we're going to have another show for you, so tune in. Absolutely, we will. And keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest, and on YouTube at Video Buzz Weekly. We love you guys. Thanks for watching, and just remember, you, you always have time, time for a little buzz. buzz.